We already finished the class for the financial accounting. Uh, but uh, I found out that uh, the video that we I recorded uh, yesterday have a problem. So I need to try to record this uh, chapter for part two. Okay, type of interest rate. So this one is the stage number three of the DC property type. Okay, so for fitter circuit, remember, okay, first one is capacitor fitter and RP filter, okay, so then you have the, okay, the supply and the supply go to the transformer, okay, stage number four, okay, and then, the rectifier rectify circuit and then after rectifier now we're going to the filter okay filter we have two type the first one is we connect only C okay only C and after that to have a um, smooth uh, signal connect to RP so this one you denote as SC1, SC2, R, and after that go to load. Okay. Or in this case, you will, in this chapter, you will have a voltage regulator here, VR. Okay. But now we want to discuss this part lah. Okay. So we have the calculation. Okay. To calculate the percentage of ripple. Okay, before, uh, after you add only C and after you add RC. You want to see the difference between ripple for C only, C1, and after you add RC1. Okay, so that's the objective for this filter circuit lah. So for capacitor filter, you will see ripple voltage, ABC voltage, ripple, ripple factor. Okay. Factor, percentage of ripple okay. and for RC filter you will also calculate the percentage of ripple okay, based on the RC operation and RC action okay. so this is how you add the capacitor filter on the capacitor parallel to the rectifier circuit okay. and then if you set satisfied with the uh, upper with the waveform here, you can uh, just add load here. Okay. Alright. So, if you can see, uh, this is the rectified waveform. And after you put C, it become like this. Okay. So, if you can see, it still have a... This one. If you can see, this one. They still have the ripple. This ripple, percentage of ripple that we want to calculate after you add C. Okay. okay, so the formula of percentage of ripple. Okay, before we go to the ripple voltage, the AC voltage, you, you have to know the percentage of ripple is equal to V R RMS over PDC. Multiply by 100%. That's why you want to calculate the ripple voltage. So this is the formula. Okay. The law formula here. Right. Law formula. Okay. So this formula is given during the exam. I think uh, I will I will check later. Okay. And you uh, your IDC must be in milliampere. C in micro. R in kilo ohm and F is 60. This one is fixed. Okay, means that if you are given in the question, okay, let's see the example 2.5. If, if you are given the value of C, okay, if you want to see what, 100 microfarad. So you have to make sure that your C in microfarad before you enter this value to this formula. Okay, let's say the question give you uh, 
10,000 nanofarad. Sorry, 10,000 nanofarad. So you have to change to microfarad first. Okay, and then you can use this value to insert to this formula. And the current must be in milli. Okay, let's say it gives you 0 0.005 ampere. So you change to milli, 1, 2, 3, 5 milli ampere. Then you can use to put inside the IDC here. Okay, so this is a straightforward question. So it gives you 100 micro what C I C. How you know I D C because it said a load. Okay, uh, 50 mil mp. Our load, our load is must be D C. We want D C voltage. Okay, then you just make sure that the uh, unit is micro, mini, and then this one the guna 3.4 IDC over C. Okay, so you get 1.2 VRRMS. Okay, this one is the ripple voltage. Okay, and then DC voltage. Okay, you want to calculate the ripple? This one you get already. The value of the RRMS already, and now you want to calculate the VDC. Okay, so this is the VDC formula for VDC. Okay, so this is the formula also will be given in the final. Okay, so VDC is equal to VM minus IDC over 4FC or equal to VM minus 4.17 IDC over C. Why 4.17? Because your frequency is frequency here is 60 hertz. Okay. So you divide 1 over 60 to get this one. Okay. Also C in microfarad and load current in the ampere. Then you can calculate the ripple voltage. Percentage of the ripple voltage. This one is the percentage. V R R M S is the ripple voltage. Over direct DC voltage. Okay. From the previous two. Number one and two formula. Okay. So you also can calculate it directly using these two formula. We got the formula. I think it, it will be given. I will check later. Okay, and okay, you must remember that current in milli, RL in kilo ohm, and micro, uh, capacitor in microfarad. Okay, so in the formula, you only have to insert the value. Okay. The value. Okay, no need to put the unit. Okay. Okay, that's what happened if you uh, put the C. Only C. Okay. Now we want to put the RC. Okay. So if you see, after you put C, you put the RC. This one is RC filter lah. Okay. If you can see, the ripple is uh, smaller now. Okay, the V voltage ripple is smaller now compare if you put, uh, if you add only C. Okay, so it adding RC section will further reduce the ripple voltage and decrease the surge current through the diode. Okay, through the diode here lah. Now, for RC we have the operation. One is this the operation. Okay, DC operation, one is AC. For DC, we want to get the VDC prime. Okay, we want to differentiate with the C. 
Okay, because for if you add C1, we have on also CDC and we are RMS, right? Okay, to differentiate with RC, we have to put prime. Okay, for AC is V prime R RMS, equal voltage for the AC. Okay, so for DC operation, okay, the circuit uh, uh, from this filter, okay. L is your load lah. Okay, this thing C one R. So from this, this is from the bridge rectifier. Okay, from here we can change to this one for DC operation. From here you can change to here for AC operation. Okay, okay. So this one they remove uh, C. Okay, and just uh, tinggalkan R. Okay, C1 dia ganti dengan VDC. Okay. C. And. C2. Okay, yang ni C dia jadi open circuit lah. That's why dia jadi, dia ada VDC, R. V prime DC dengan RL je. Okay. So, untuk AC. C1 diganti dengan VRRMS dan C2 ni ada. Okay. C2 sebab ini kita punya ni AC kan. So this one working lah. Okay. okay. So ni VDC ni apa dia buat ialah dia buat voltage divider. Okay. Nak cari VDC. V prime DC. Which is RL over R plus RL darab dengan VDC. Okay. Untuk AC operation pula, dia buat sama juga. Okay. This actually dia buat um, uh, voltage divider juga. Okay. AC circuit tadi. Dari voltage divider. Okay. Tapi... Kalau kita buat voltage divider, XT over R plus XT kali dengan VR. RMS kan? Ini lah supply. But the value of XT is small. So, dia neglect. So, dia jadi XT over R. That's why dia ada approaching. Okay. But you can use only or use uh, equal sign also. So, XC also equal to 1 over 3, 1, 1.3 over C, which is C in microfarad. Okay, XT ni mesti dalam kilo ohm. Okay, this one is why dia dapat 1.3 is because the frequency is 124 wave rectifier. Okay, so this two is important for you to know lah. Okay, this one. Okay, let's see the example here. Okay. Let's see the example without the solution. This is the example 2.6. So, yang dia nak ialah calculate the DC and AC component of the output uh, signal across RL. Maksudnya dia nak nya dia nak be b prime dc b prime r rms 
Okay, sebab dah across ni kan. So, dia dah dekat kat sini. Lepas tu, dia suruh kira V. Sorry, dia suruh kira percentage of people untuk RC. Okay, apa yang awak kena buat ialah, awak kena tahu. Ini XP. Ada apa dia bagi? XP, IRR. XP1. Then, you add RC, you add R, 500 ohm, K2, 500 karat, 4M, 50 ohm. Okay, so, ada soalan final, dia suruh cari percentage of ripple kat sini. Okay, IRR minus, bagi dengan USD, kira 100%. So ni senang dah ada dah nilai ni. So awak masukkan je lah. Okay. So dia tulis kat sini. PRRMS bagi USD. Ini 100 sama dengan PRRMS is 15 bagi dengan 150 kali 100%. Okay. Kalau dia tak minta pun awak boleh kira in case awak nak tengok. Percentage of ripple dia turun ke tak? Sepatutnya percentage of ripple dia turun lah. Okay. Ada beza when you add RC dengan tak. Okay. Okay. So percentage of ripple dia is 100, uh, 10%. Okay. Now. Kita nak kira V prime DC. V prime DC ialah RN over RN plus R kali dengan V DC. Kan? Okay. Ini. So, awak just masukkan nilai RN 5 kilo ohm. Okay, tambah dengan R. 500 kali dengan VDC 150. Okay. So, akan dapat VDC bagi dengan 500 ohm untuk RRMS. 136. <coughs> 136. 0.4 volt. And then you kira V prime RRMS. XC over R kali dengan V RMS. So XC awak kena kira dulu 1.3 over R kan? Okay. R. R ialah resistor that added RC filter. So it R ni lah 500. Okay. Dia nak dalam kilo. Okay, awak bagi dulu 1.3 bagi 500 okay, 1.3 divide by 500 sorry 1.3 over Over C. Over C. Okay, over C. Over C. Over C. So, 1.3. Dalam C dalam microfarad. So, ambil 10 je. So, dia akan jadi. So, point. Satu tiga tapi dalam kilo ohm. Memang dia akan dalam kilo ohm. So, yang ni awak boleh tukar dia. Sampai satu tiga K. Dia akan jadi seratus tiga puluh ohm. So, yang ni baru awak masukkan. Satu tiga puluh bagi dengan lima ratus. Kali dengan VRRM, VRRMS lima belas. So, ni awak akan dapat. Tengok jawapan. 3.9. Okay. 
sembilan. So boleh lah bagi kan nak cari percentage of return. B prime this B over B R R M S kali seratus. Tiga point sembilan bahagi dengan satu tiga enam point empat kali seratus. So awak akan tengok percentage of return dia berkurang. Okay. So dia jadi dua point sembilan. So from 10% if you add RC, so this one is C1, if you add RC, dia akan jadi 2.9%. So baguslah, okay. percentage of ripple dia berkurang. So ni yang kita nak. So that's why you have to calculate the percentage of ripple before you add RC. So that you can compare the percentage. Kalau dia makin tinggi maksudnya calculation you salah you so you have to check back lah. Okay.